What does it tell him? Uh, just a little interview. Um, what are your thoughts on the late Jim Henson? Uh, well, uh, I used to tape um, uh, every skit from TV uh, in one of my audio, audio cassettes. Alright. And, um, what was it like to work with the great Ted Harris? Well, it's different, isn't it? Uh-huh. Well, do you have any good thoughts or bad thoughts? Uh, I never thought of any uh, new thoughts before. Oh, me over. And what was your favorite skit that you enjoyed doing so far? My favorite skit? Mm-hmm. Uh, here's your life, right? Yeah, here's your life. Mm-hmm. I think that your puppets are really cool. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Well... Is Jim Henson a genius? Genius? He was a genius, because now he's dead. Mm-hmm. So is Richard Hunt. Am I a genius? Yes, I think you are. Great. And so am I. Mm-hmm. Four of us great artists. What may you do me? Now, um, what am I supposed to ask you? I'm just asking what my thoughts on Lake Jim Henson. What, what are your thoughts of Jim Henson? Well, I thought they were very good thoughts. The man was genius. But basically, I, he knew his time was coming, and he knew he couldn't go on being Jim Henson. And he couldn't go on being the great Jim Henson. Career of the Muppets, and it's only his time to come. Oh. Well, that's, that's, that's uh, very interesting, isn't it? Okay. And, um, basically, I like, I like the Great Muppet Caper. Mm-hmm. A little. But I like the Muppet movie more. Mm-hmm. And the recent film I saw done by Jim Henson was, Brian Henson, of course, was Muppet Treasure Island, starring Billy Connolly. And Tim Curry as Long John Silver. Oh, the boars were great too. Oh, but why not uh, the Muppet Jungle Book? Hasn't been filmed a long time. Oh, well, maybe we can write it down and request that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Alright, here she is. Head puppet builder and creative consultant for John Paul Gomez and Ted Harris. Mrs. Joanne Gomez. Well, this time I did. Yes, I know you did. And uh, what are your thoughts on Jim Henson? The man was a genius. And he is missed terribly, especially by my son and you. All right. Um, am I a genius? You both are. You and John Paul. Okay. You're extremely creative geniuses. Uh-huh. And what are your thoughts on Frank Oz? Frank Oz is a very funny man, especially when he has a puppet in his hand. Uh-huh. Good, Miss Peggy, you right? And Fozzie, and several other. And what was the best movie you enjoyed watching done by Jim Henson? Uh, the, the first one, the Muppet movie. Uh-huh. Yeah, Charles Durning was great. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That was the best one. But they're all good, but that was my favorite. Uh-huh. What is your favorite Muppet? Kermit. Uh-huh. I like Kermit, too. And I kind of like Fozzie and Miss Piggy. Somehow, Jim Henson knew his time was coming, and he knew he couldn't go on being Jim Henson. Well, I think he realized that there was going to be a time when he would no longer be able to do what he wanted to do with the Muppets, so that's why he made the deal with Disney to take them over. Okay. But then, after he died, his son Brian decided that he would like to continue with the Muppets so that's why they haven't completely become part of Disney. Well, do you think of me as Jim Henson of the 90s? Um, Didn't well, you, you, you have a creative genius like Jim Henson did. Uh-huh. Well, I think it'd be great if we could get 
some of our puppets did on a cable system or something like that. Yeah. You're the one that wants fame and fortune. We'll see what happens. That's right. Right. Bye. Right. Well, that's it for the JP and Ted show for 1997 for videotape. But before we go, let's give a warm thank you to our puppeteer, John Paul Gomez. And to Maria Go Joanne Gomez. And, uh, she's not with us now. Oh. And the puppets. We don't have them on. Now we do. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Bye.